I am Dr. Sykes, and I will be your attending physician for the day. Now, I know you're probably wondering, but uh, I am totally, totally okay. Possibly uh, damaged my spine just just a little bit, but more importantly, I must ask you a question. <laughs> must ask. How are you feeling today? I see. Well, first let's let's get a look at the old chart. Yes, I see. Okay. So, you're here today for your uh, annual pap smear. And, uh, medical term I, I have forgotten, but your vagina checkup. Is that correct? Okay, well, let's dispense with this. Now, first of all, are you experiencing any uh, vaginal problems currently? Um, for instance, an issue with your menstruation, such as uh, too much blood, something that would cause neighborhood dogs to uh, to go berserk when you walk by. Hmm. Everything seems to be okay. All right. Are you experiencing any abdominal pain currently? Okay. That's, that's fantastic. It's good to hear. Um, well, I, I, I must tell you that, um, it wasn't necessary for you to get uh, fully nude before I came in, but but that's okay. I I appreciate your your forthrightness. It's not a quality that we see very much nowadays. By the way, have you been into the clinic before? You may not recognize me because I recently went on a vacation grew a lustrous mustache for the beach. Yes, yes, uh, one of my four wives requested that I grow a bushy mustache because it uh, really gets her going down there, so. All right, well, uh, vagina time. First of all, let me get gloved up. Let's see. Oh, yes. Slid right in there. And now with that, we are ready to explore the depths of your vagina and uh, make sure that everything is a-okay down there. So if you would, just uh, go ahead and put your foot in this stirrup, and yes, okay, and this one, yes, just so, and just spread wide. Oh my. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, just uh, an old doctor's joke, so. Please.
please don't report me to the uh, medical ethics board. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is uh, take a very special medical device and uh, spread you uh, spread you wide. And then that will enable me to have a, a good look at what's going inside, what's going on inside your vagina. I apologize, I, I got tongue-tied and it may have been a result of the uh, earlier tumble I took. I have a fairly severe headache and uh, I see spots and feel quite faint. A okay. Okay, so spread wide here. Yes, yes, just so. Okay, just bear with me for one moment here. Oh, there we go. Oh my, oh my, this, this is rather rancid, isn't it all? Oh my, you, you don't like Caesar salad dressing, do you? It is actually quite delicious. What I do is spread it on a tortilla. Now, some people do not know, but, uh, Tortilla is a word in the Mexican language. Oh, it's, I apologize, I, I'm being very rude. It's highly inappropriate to, to eat in, in front of a patient, isn't it? I, I apologize. Well, if you ever get the opportunity, uh, please try. Caesar salad dressing on a tortilla. I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a little abnormal, but delicious assuredly. Okay. Let me just put that back. Now. This is a highly advanced medical instrument. What I will do is insert these into your canal and then I will uh, spread you just, just wide open. So uh, Let's give this thing a shot. Okay, just uh, if if you could just relax uh, your vagina slightly. <laughs> um, have you been performing? some type of weight training with your vagina. It, uh, it's very tenacious. Quite difficult to spread. But I think that I have it. Oh, let's see. We're good to go here. I thought for a moment I might have to call the fire department to bring the uh, jaws of life to open that thing. But uh, we're good now. Now, 
First of all, I will take a closer look inside with this magnifying glass. It will allow me to see the minute details of the wondrous cavern that which is your vagina. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm, it looks. It looks kind of like the predator's face without his mask on. Hmm. Honestly, terrifying, isn't it? Okay. It's as normal as I've seen one, which is to say which is to say none are very normal. Mm. Uh, fuel for my nightmares. Um, it was nothing, just sometimes I mumble to myself, so everything looks a-okay. Now, the next step is to get a small swab of the, uh, inside of your cavernous vagina and we will then send this off and get it analyzed to make sure that you don't have any um, venereal issues. The pap smear can tell us a lot so say ah uh, but just figuratively because you're vagina can't really say anything and if it can then I quite frankly don't want to be around it and just you just lay still okay oh 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 got my arm oh my arm my arm I wouldn't want to get on your bad side with with the force that you have on that thing. Very strong. Okay, let's remove the clamps. You really snapped those shut, didn't you? Okay, just uh, just relax and I'll pull these out. Just just relax a little. Get in there. <laughs> oh. That's uh one ironclad vagina you have there. Man. That's quite a force to be reckoned with. Okay. Well, everything appears to be okay with your vagina. And as such, you have no need of a prescription. But I do have to take a few notes. Okay. Now let's uh, take off these gloves. They they have your juices pretty much all over, and I think I have some on my wrist. And you may want to check your vagina later for my wristwatch because I I can't seem to find it. No. The results of your pap smear should take uh, approximately a week. So somebody from the clinic will give you a call in about one week's time and we'll have the results of your uh, uh, vagina swab. Well, if that's all, then 
you have a good day and please remember try that tortilla that I mentioned you have a